lead by example and um, yeah, just show what it takes to win at this level, which you know, I, think, I think I realized what it takes. And, um, I was looking forward to it. You know, it's my last year. Um, so there's nothing to hold back from. It was just pickup ball that we were watching, but before one of the football games, you were over there and you're knocking down jumpers and threes. Yeah. And stuff. Do you feel like you've added that to your game on a consistent level? Yeah, it's a level, it's a level of confidence. I mean, um, everybody swears I can't shoot, but I, I, mean, I know I can. Uh, just because I haven't made it in a game doesn't mean that, you know, whether we're playing pickup or whether they're practicing, I'm not making it. So it's all about confidence and shooting, getting ready to shoot. You know, when it comes game time. That's one of the knocks on this team is shooting. Do you think that's fair? New criminal shooting? That's that's not gonna well, that's one of the questions. I mean, you guys struggled with it last year. Do you think that's a fair criticism? No. I mean, when you got guys like Pete, Jared, J.O., Brady, Mike, Sapp, I mean, we got shooters. So I, mean, I haven't heard that, but you know, I don't agree with that. If that is a knock that people are saying. Are you a natural leader, Aaron, or is it something you have to work at? No, it's not anything I have to work at. Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell by my play. I'm firing. I'm, I'm competitive, and I think that's part of what what it takes to be a leader. Um, as I think somebody asked me earlier, I'm kind of I'm working on more how to approach guys. You got to approach different guys different ways, depending on the situation. Um, some situations call you to you know jump a guy and you know call him out for what they did. Another situation, you, know, you got to put a quick arm around the guy. And, um, that's the biggest thing you gotta learn. That's that's what coaches do, and that's the big thing that I I take away from. You know, Coach Spiro has talked to me a lot about it, and um, that's what I'm trying to work on. But no, it's not something that I'm afraid of that I'm not used to. It's just you know, it's something I look forward to. Are there things you'll do as a senior that maybe you wouldn't do as a junior, as far as leadership goes? Um, I mean, last year you know, I really wanted to be that leader that, that stepped up and um, took control of the team, and it was just a little bit hard to be honest with. Um, you know, clearly Deb was the guy, you know, go-to guy. And, I didn't want to step on any of the senior shoes, and you know, that's not making an excuse by any means. But it's just, yeah, it's just a different situation now. You know, I feel like it's my last year. I don't feel like there's anything holding me back, and um, so nothing different. Just I feel like I don't have any restrictions. I can just, um, you know, lead how I want to, and you know, kind of show the newer guys what it takes, and continue to, to help the juniors and the sophomores. How much help do you get from guys? I mean, Gabe and Josh have been here as long as you, yeah. and the juniors are. You, have, you also have a pretty good class of yeah, juniors. Yeah, I don't think it's a, by no means is it like you know, Aaron. This is you have to do this all by yourself. We've got guys on this team that step up that are very vocal, um, that also know what it takes to, to win at this level. Like you said, Josh and Gabe, and they're just as long as me contributed. Mike, Gabe, Sap played lots of minutes um, going into their junior year. Um, so no, it's it's kind of you know, every everybody you know steps up and. Certain, certain situations, and um, in that sense, I, I really like our team in that, in that matter.